Good day, everyone, and welcome back to class. Uh, we'll have a question on the board, and we are asked to solve an inequality and represent it on a number line. Solve an inequality and represent it on a number line. You define the range of values of x for which this is the inequality 5x minus 4 greater than 11. It says show the result on the number line. So I'm going to start by solving the inequality minus 4 is greater than 0. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides because this is negative 4. So I'm going to add um, positive 4 to both sides. So if I add positive 4 to both sides, I'm going to have 5x is greater than 15. So the next thing, I'm going to divide both sides by 3, by 5 rather. So if I divide this by 5, I'm going to have x is greater than 3. Now the answer is not the challenge. What we have here is x is greater than 3, right? Now it's how to represent it on the number line. You know your number line is like this, something of this nature. Let us put it like this. And let me just assume this is my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, it continues to whatever number that you want it to get to, whatever number. Now, the answer I have here is x greater than 3. It means that the value of x or x can only take value from 4 and above because the value of x should be greater than 3. So this is 3. So the number here greater than 3 is 4, 5, and it continues. So I'm going to start from this and I'll put it like this. Showing that it is continuing to that point. So every value from 3, every value apart from 3. The reason why I didn't shade the inside of this is because I'm not taking 3 as inclusive in the values of x. If 3 is inclusive in the values of x, or included, then I'm going to shade the um, circle that I have. But because it's not included, I'm not going to shade, shade it. I'm just taking all the values from this point. So 3.1 is greater than 3. That's why I'm beginning from here. So all these values are the values that can be taken. So they ask for a range of values. So that's what it means, you see. So I'll just quickly give you one other assignment. If you quickly do it, you put your comment on the um, section. I think this is um, very simple. So try this out and let's see what you're going to have. If you are done, you can like the video, put your answer in the comment section, and I'll do that. I'll do well to look at what you've done. And um, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do well and subscribe to this channel. And until then, I'll see you in the next class.